If you're ever going to write a thesis, a dissertation or a research paper, you've got to forget Word or pages. You got to use LaTeX. It's the best thing ever. I have used it for my uh, diploma thesis. A friend of mine used it for his thesis and for his dissertation. And I have written lots of uh, research papers that use LaTeX and it's you just got to see this. So with a typical um, with a typical editing tool like Word or Pages, you have a what you see is what you get editor, which is basically you have your, your you have your screen and you type some stuff and then you format it. So you say, okay, this here, this is not going to be a body, this is the title. And then this here, this is a headline. A heading one and this is a heading two and so on and so on and so on and then you have the body and then you're going to um, do another heading so this looks very good and is very simple and you you go here and then you say okay this is now I want um, uh, already begins I want numbers for each of the headings and so on so you start with that and it all looks looks very good but at some point if you're doing a larger project um, I'm right now doing a data engineering cookbook which is going to be a, a huge document trying to help you guys um, get into data engineering and so I was again I was uh, thinking what type of tool I'm using to write it and um, yeah, so the thing is with LaTeX, LaTeX is a bit different. LaTeX is not what you see, is what you get. Um, first of all, where can you get LaTeX? LaTeX, you can get... Um, you can go to uh, latex-project.org and then you can go and say, okay, get. And then for Mac, you download MacTags. Or for Windows, you uh, download MicTags. This is basically what it is. And then what you uh, what you have? Uh, let's get the pages away here. Uh, what you get is you get a very very simple editor. This is the one I'm using for my cookbook. So LaTeX is more um, more coding. It's more coding related. Um, it, the uh, the upside of that is the whole formatting is done in the background. You can focus on the structure of the of the uh, of the document, and um, you can very easily uh, take stuff and copy it somewhere else, and everything gets automatically created in the background. So you first uh, say you have some user packages that you want to implement or import, and then now. In my case, I'm doing a title and then can I zoom this a bit here? Okay, I cannot zoom this right now. Um, so title, subtitle, author, date, you can make a abstract. And then, so what you do is you write your, your stuff down, you uh, you split it into sections. This would be in, in pages, the heading one, sections, then subsections, then sub subsections, and then you have paragraphs. And then basically everything gets created. So when you're when you're done and you just do save and make a compilation. So it compiles the document. Boom. And then it directly prints out in PDF. A PDF document, in my case, headline, subheadline, author, date, version, and then it uh, just with you just enter here table of contents, and then you get the whole. Where is it? Um, and then you have the whole table of contents created automatically. It it looks very good. It's you don't need to think about all this stuff. 
just boom, 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 table of contents, done. And then you have the, uh, you have sections, for instance, the introduction, subsections, and then you have uh, stuff down, um, sub subsections, where is the sub subsection? Then, for instance, you can do lists, very simple lists. Um, this is how you edit a, a figure. You say, it's, it's it's a short code snippet. It's, you can just copy this. It's it's super simple, and use this exactly itemized. It's called just a few items. Drop it done. So you don't need to think about the the um, how it's how it looks on the page. It it's already created it right, and then now let's go back to the document. Um, one thing further down then, you can, if you're already at a sub subsection, you can do um, paragraphs. So the paragraphs starts with the first uh, first stuff that you write starts in, in uh, bold, and then you can continue writing. And it's so it's it's very simple and very clear. You, you store the images, you store them in a folder and then just say, okay, I want to import the folder, uh, the image from the folder, images in my, this here is for instance, machine learning pipeline, give it a name, done. And the cool thing is that, yeah, the, it, it, everything is created automatically. Figures, for instance, how often have you copied a figure from one section into another in Word or in Pages, and then the the uh, subtitle and the figure number doesn't match. Or you copy stuff from 6.22 into 6.2, and stuff doesn't match anymore. So it's it makes it so simple to just um, focus on the actual creation and and have the uh, the processor done everything in the back. So one uh, one big thing. Uh, for for dissertations or for the for a thesis is citation so what you do for citation you have uh, multiple options you can either do a citation directly in in your source code or in your document what you can also do is you can go um, completely down and you say then uh, begin a bibliography and then you can add pip items um, and just just write this down it's very simple format and then it's you you just uh, in the text you just um, say backslash site uh, site and then you do the name and this i just used i shine because this is an example and then it automatically it does the citation for it you can also do a whole file a bib text file that even makes it uh, makes it so that the actual uh, bib items are separated from the document you're writing and it's a bit uh, better structured but i haven't i can't remember how exactly this works so i need to figure that out myself but it's very easy and so what you end up with is um if you go down it just there's then a, a references point and then you have all the references down and they are they are marked here and it's it's very simple and yeah if you have the figures all the figures are, are numbered and you give them names it's just one um one code list of figures or list of tables and then you get a list of figures, everything. One cool thing about um, about LaTeX is that it's absolutely superior for um, mathematical equations. It's the the options you have for mathematical equations is is crazy, is crazy. There is a very very good cheat sheet. Um, I'm going to link this as low uh, as well below, um, where you can have a short introduction over everything you can do here and so how you can for instance do tables and so on and so on so it's yeah i'm i'm an absolute fan of latex because it's so simple 
to write in LaTeX and and through the through the processor everything is done and everything is numbered and you don't get some copy and paste problems that you um, make some notes somewhere in some program for instance you go on your on your phone and you <clears throat> you do a you do a note and then open it up and then copy it from another document editing tool or from another processor for instance google keep you copy it into word and then the formatting doesn't fit and the 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 uh, the font doesn't fit so it's it's so super simple you got got to check this out this it, it's going to save you a lot of time of course you have a bit of a learning curve you need to install it you need to figure out how exactly everything looks um, depend uh, regarding regarding the document structure and the wording and and so on but you got to check this out it's this is the thing okay so I think it's obvious that I'm a huge fan of LaTeX and I'm using it for my data engineering cookbook. And if you want to know what the cookbook is all about, I'm having the um, table of contents and a and the introduction online on my Patreon for everybody to access. So it's free. Um, you can have access to the whole cookbook uh, from if you if you become a patreon and you get also access to my discord um, where we can discuss in the chat um, questions you have and you can send me them in the, into the mailbox so it's patreon.com slash plumbers of ds patreon.com plumbers of ds and there you can access the table of contents and the introduction um, this is a, wor a work in progress document it's nowhere finished i'm currently writing it i'm just I decided to uh, upload it as fast as possible not wait a half a year and then upload it i i'm uh, giving you access to it right away and share your ideas and your comments and yeah i think it's a it's a fun time and i think it's going to help you uh, a lot Okay, so far from this. Um, yeah. I'm hoping that you uh, try out LaTeX because I'm. it's awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.